Um, before I get started on this video, because this is probably going to turn into a longer video, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. I don't know. I, I personally like long videos. I mean, that's my opinion on that. But I want to start out by giving a shout out to someone uh, who I've been talking to a bit lately, been watching his videos, and I think he's a good guy. Uh, his name is Jean Paul Prime. Now, I noticed that he didn't have very many subscribers, and I asked him why, and, um, and I actually kind of remember this. But he had an old, an old account, some people might remember, called uh, John Paul Dorn. And um, he did, and he even admitted this, that like he did like some kind of troll videos. And some people still haven't washed that taste out of their mouth. And he said, you know, like, Napalm is still not big on him. Um, Coughlin to a uh, smaller degree. Um, but honestly, I really like the guy. Um, lately, he's been doing, like... Sorry, here's some up there. Um, lately, he's been doing um, like some political videos, uh, his general thoughts, and we almost see eye to eye on everything. And he also does interview videos. Like he had um, an interview with the Amazing Atheist. He just did one with Venom X, which I had some problems with because I know he was trying to ask like really good questions, but Sean's a slippery little fucker. Um, so he was able to get out of it. I mean, I think Sean handled himself fairly well, but John, I can tell he was you know, trying to bring up some points against, you know, Sean's beliefs, but I think you guys should check him out. If you like me, you like, like I guess, my fucking political beliefs, you know, like the more kind of lefty, centrist kind of shit, um, check him out. You know, he really does deserve your subscription. He makes some good videos. Anyway, um, lately, Onision has been pissing some people off, and I haven't watched the video that people are now freaking out about, but... I've had a problem with him for a long time, and the biggest thing I have a problem with, uh, which might shock some people, is his vegetarianism. Now, some of you are going to know I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for like, fuck, three fucking years now. My wife has been vegetarian for like nine years. Uh, so yeah, um, we're vegetarians. We do not eat any animal. I mean, it does kind of annoy me when people say they're vegetarian, but they eat fish. You're not a vegetarian. But, you know, that's fine. If that if you're okay with that, you know, the, in, in all fairness, um, my boyfriend's daughter, she's she was, like, vegan for a long time, but she was unhealthy. And her doctors told her, like, you have to eat some kind of meat. So she eats fish. Uh, now, most times she's vegan, so I'm going to bring that up first, that, you know, not everyone can be vegetarian, nor am I even suggesting that everyone should be fucking vegetarian. That's a choice you fucking make. I decided to stop eating meat because I was about to move in with my wife, and I had tried it, I did it for a couple weeks, boom, I just, it was like, oh, I can do this forever then. That being said, we have two cats and three dogs. Number one, cats cannot be vegetarian. They can't. They are carnivores, so you have to have meat in their diets, which, by the way, Onision, yeah, uh, back with his, with his old wife, they had cats. So you contribute to the fucking meat industry. Uh, number two, dogs. They can be vegetarian, however, it's pretty fucking expensive. And we already spend enough. We have three fucking labs. They're big dogs, so we have to spend quite a bit on their food already, but to get, like, the vegetarian shit would be even worse. Now, the reason I have a problem with Onision and his, veg his vegetarianism is because he likes to judge meat eaters, and that's what he was known for doing for quite some time. And he still does it, and it really fucking pisses me off, especially since... I used to be subscribed to his Speaks channel, because I agree with some of the things he said, and sometimes like, well, yeah, I think you're just being an asshole. But a friend of his apparently went vegetarian, but then started eating meat again, and he was trying to call him out. Um, you know, like his Onision, he also did a video on his Speaks channel. If I can find it, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description bar. I don't know if it's still up or not. But he was talking about vegans, which I'm going to get on vegans here in a second. But, you know, he was starting to bitch like that they're judging him because he fucking contributes to the meat industry, essentially, by buying milk and, you know, cheese and eggs, which is fucking true. Now, in his defense, he did say you have to do some fucking research and find farms that don't abuse them and shit. However, that's not really a good argument because the fact is, males, male cows, do not give milk. What do you do with them? Just let them go? Uh, male chickens do not lay eggs. What the fuck do you do with them? So... It's really hypocritical on his fucking part to sit here and judge everyone else, but then a another crew can fucking turn around and judge them, which I am going to say for the fucking record here. 
Vegans are some of the most judgmental fucking people I have ever seen. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of the ones I've come across, you know, like the PETA types, they are so fucking prickish about it. If you, if even, like me, you know, I don't eat meat, however, I consume milk, eggs, cheese, milk, but, um, you know, I do eat these things, but they can judge me, however, vegans, I guess they tend to forget that, um, you know, there's another group called fruitarians, and what they do is they don't even eat fucking plants because you gotta kill the fucking plant. If you eat fruit, you know, things like tomatoes, basically plucking that off a tree is like cutting your fingernail. It's just, that fucking fingernail is taking nutrients from your body, but if you cut it off, it's not taking those nutrients anymore. Which, yeah, I mean, they're like, I guess, pro-life more so than vegans and vegetarians. So it's just really fucking hypocritical, and it really pisses me off that Oniseon doesn't see this. You know, like I said, I don't eat the shit. Um, my dad and brother, whom I'm very close with, both of them, I love both of them, they eat meat, and they'll eat it sometimes when I'm there. I don't give a shit. It doesn't fucking matter to me. They choose to eat it. I fucking don't. You know, and that's the thing, that's, again, that's why I don't judge people, because there's another fucking group that can sit there and judge you. You know, and I think he's such a fucking asshole for his beliefs, but then, you know, he can be an asshole about his shit, he can be a prick, however, when someone is a prick to him, what are they? They're fucking haters. Well, what does that make him? You know, if vegans, you know, badmouth him, oh, what, what that's, that's bad? So you turn around and do the same fucking thing. You judge people on their fucking diets all the time. Why is that fucking different? You know, before anyone asks, the reason I'm vegetarian is because I don't feel right eating it. I don't. Now when I see, like, lobsters and shit, it makes me actually kind of sad. Some people might think that's pussy fight, but that's my fucking belief. Um, you know, I can destroy my own fucking body. I can drink and smoke. That just hurts me. That doesn't hurt everyone else. But, you know, it just, I, I fucking hate the guy because he's such a fucking cunt about all of his beliefs. You know, if you smoke and drink, you're an asshole. If you eat meat, you're an asshole. If you don't like him, you're an asshole. Fuck you, Omnision. You know, that's why people are fucking leaving your ass. That's why your fans are basically just fucking teenage girls who will probably start eating meat again. This is probably not a lifetime fucking commitment for them. And they found you and they think you're cute because you look like that fucking, uh... If I remember, I'll put a fucking title on here. The guy who did that 80s song, um, Rock On. And by the way, I'll try to put a picture up, too. But it just really pisses me off that, you know, since girls think he's cute, then he gets a lot of fucking subscribers, he gets a lot of views, so in, in turn, he gets fucking paid a lot of money to do this. Even though he's a fucking prick. But anyway... I guess that's all I have to say on it. Um, I could probably rant forever and ever and ever about this asshole, but I'm not going to. So, anyway, uh, this is Bad Five. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next video.